But I do see Hisui, which I am totally not biased for. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> not biased in the slightest at all, but yeah. We're gonna open items. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be setting up shop here, playing a relatively defensive Hisui playstyle and actually find the 623B in order to anti air there. Yeah, just waking up with it, setting up all the plus frames. Yeah, that should be a gapless setup. Goes in with the empty to blow. Okay, yeah, B for Sonic actually putting up a lot of pressure here thus far. Nice picnic, okay. So being a little bit conservative with the pressure here. Has a ton of life to sit on in terms of the life lead. Wilder well, needs to make something happen to run up throw. Yeah, sets up just a simple bento, but was ready there with the strike in order to beat it out. Oh, yeah, just, <laughs> I, uh, you know, one of the things I remember most fondly about playing Isui, just getting your items armored by the Shiki leg. Sometimes it really do be like that. Oh, yeah, waking up with a throw, goes in with a dust cloud, tried to match out of the situation, but it was just hit with the Isui buttons once again. And goes in with the ladle, going in with the dust cloud, oh my god, yeah, I didn't know where to block, but Wowza in the blood drive. Kinda of wonder if he was gonna go into the install, but unfortunately dropping the combo, but does find the toes and drops it though. That's definitely a very pivotal drop. Could have went into install for the next round, but instead crosses him up in order to seal out the deal. Not an install now, but still putting one on the board. Yeah, man. I, I find the kind of back and forth nature of a blood heat activation so interesting in this game, right? Because as a defender, when your opponent activates blood heat, you know that you don't really want to challenge because you don't want to eat the last dart for them shielding. But it also subjects you to pressure, so you have to play this weird, like, defense game where you kind of don't want to be under defense, but you can't use shield to escape. It's it's really crazy. <laughs> Really good about it, these throws, catching Baz off guard, and yeah, just goes in straight in with the jump in with Hisui. Has a good amount of meter on deck and able to seal out the deal there with the EX item throw. Fantastic, B-Boy Sonic X. I think just like the uh, very, uh, I, I would say a very uh, good Hisui play in terms of like the Oki game. Like their, their pressure has been really on point. The Bentos and the Dust Clouds um, on Wowza's wake up has just been creating a lot of pressure opportunities for B Boy. I mean, if you're Wowza here, you have to possibly think about how you're going to navigate around that. I mean, Shield is an option. Shield's always an option. Shield is the inevitable. But it's just like, you know, if you are going to subject yourself to Shield, you subject yourself to Shield mind games. You know, I don't know how willing Wowza is to play around those or just wants to navigate to neutral to make sure they're not in those situations in the first place, you know? Here with the 2A. As well as a meta, they jump low. Straight the pressure and really jump. Nice jump. Yeah, just completely jumping over that Shiki slide that tends to be such a uh, problem maker in these matchups. That was ambiguous as hell. And situations like that is where you just gotta think about it on Wowza's end. It's like, do you really wanna take that or do you go for the shield? You know, it's hard. It's a hard call to make. Yeah, I. Not sure what is happening, but still, we're looking at a lot of pressure. Opting to pop the heat there, empty overhead. It goes into the install too, so this is going to allow Shiki to go into the install next time, which is very huge momentum. Indeed, indeed. Yes, so the Bento just going to be taking a yeah, good hit there with the overhead, not expecting it. Oh, goes in with a fake cross up too. Oh, gonna be spinning some of that cash. Gonna be locking in the corner pressure too. Comes out of this situation, doesn't quite beat the heat, gets out of the situation. Oh, yeah, just goes in straight with the grab. Wakes up with violence actually. Not expecting the second low and a lot of that install time not going to be able to use as B-Boy taking a perfect round. All right, here we go, B-Boy. Looking close this out. Wowza still trying to fight to the... What? what? <laughs> you know what? She needed that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, she... No. Oh, no. Melty blood. Oh, they, they, neither yeah, of them yeah. know what to do. They were shook. They were like, yo, what, 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 like, what, what, what is this game? What, what, is, what is this game? I don't know. You I'm, know, I'm know. watching, and I don't know what's going on either. The freaking uh, Hot Ones clip where they're just like, look at us. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could be me. Crazy. It's just like, they had no idea what to do after that interaction. B-Boy Sonic X is sitting on a huge life lead right now, though. Lots of meter, like, everything is B-Boy Sonic X right now. Look at the heat, look at the health, like, Wowza is definitely in a dangerous position. Activates the heat to just get some life back. Try to put B-Boy Sonic X under some type of pressure. That's huge! Yeah, just go straight to the arc drive. Yeah, 
that is still going to be equalizing those health totals too. So B-Boy definitely has a lot of meter to play with. Oh yeah, going in with a grab. Definitely checking B-Boy a lot this time because that grab option has been something they've been going for frequently. When it goes in with the blood heat, it has to be really careful now. Mm. Yeah, just plays it very patiently, doesn't want to have to deal with any blood heat, but a nice JC over the chair. Oh yeah, unblockable. Goes in for the B follow up though. Nice smash out of this situation. Doesn't have enough meter, I don't think, to kill, but still in a favorable position, putting them in the one touch scenario. Yeah, just gonna be both options of Shilak, neither wanting to deal with any of them. <laughs> okay. Oh! Not gonna be beating that heat activation and goes in with the 236B, but not gonna be able to quite convert off it, but goes in with the ambiguous double overhead in order to seal out game two. There it is, Wowza still in this, and not only that, recovering after a uh, perfect game that uh, they were able to get previously, B-Boy Sonic X. So Wowza just showing a good amount of like uh, persistence here, you know, making the necessary adaptations and bringing this down to the uh, final game here. Yes. Okay, yeah. B-Boy going straight in with the violence. But yeah, often just back off afterwards, try to bait something out there with the dust cloud, but we just met with the shiki buttons. Okay. Nice conversion, that was sick. Kind of going in with the optimals. Okay, yeah, that Oki game that B-Boy Sonic X is consistently so advantageous off of. Wowza doing a good job defending thus far. Yeah, just running out of the corner. Doesn't want to be under pressure for thus far, but you just got met with a chair to the face. Yes, item ender, but this time jumping out of the situation, realizing that was not a meaty. Oh, try to anti-air, not working out, can't convert it quite off that JC. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, into the air we go. Wowza. Does not opt for any heat quite yet, but you gotta imagine that it's in the back of their head. Maybe they're just trying to do this the old-fashioned way. Possible arc drive available. No, drops the combo! That's such a heartbreaker there for Wowza. They had uh, multiple opportunities of ways to possibly seal off that round. And the conservative nature of holding that match circuit it had to be for a hit just like that. They just couldn't get the combo when they needed it. Yeah, definitely very unfortunate. Definitely putting B-Boy Sonic in the favor and an excellent conversion off that bento. Going in. Oh yeah, just use that art moon drive to go straight through the bento as well. I wonder if he's gonna go into it's all no going for the reset, but was just met there with the J2C. Goes in with the reset with the items as well. Not gonna get a huge amount out of it, but forcing out a blood drive. Oh, I'm oh really surprised the is in the challenge. But I mean it uh, she's fine. <laughs> she's fine, That's a but she's whole bleeding. lot of orange, man. My god. Yeah, and just whip punishing the 2C. Forced a lot of meter out from Wowza, so we're only going to be playing with three bars here, but this is definitely still relatively close now. Oh, but the JC not quite able to armor through, but drops the end of the combos and goes immediately with a grab, and able to find the meaty as well. Wowza definitely bringing it back. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Nice shield. Okay, yeah, it's got a cash in the arc drive. Goes for the bento. Yeah, Wowza has been doing an excellent job getting out of that Oki. They both heat. Are they not able to get an arc drive there? This is actually pretty close. B-Boy has a slight advantage though. Yeah, definitely, because B-Boy does have access to that moon drive can. And all of that situation is just going to be taking that bento. Okay, yeah, nice block on that so far. Doesn't quite whiff punish though. Is always, yeah, always ready for those charged 5Cs. Oh, but dropping the combo there, losing a good amount of momentum, but just gonna be playing relatively defensively now. And, and goes in straight there with the moon drive to fish out that charged 5C and will be taking the set.